I believe all moms need a hobby. Hobbies can be beneficial in many ways like reduce stress, help you be productive and reach goals, and even save you or make you money. Now who doesn't like that? Hello and welcome to episode number 16. My name is Dana Salvatore from danasalvatore.com and I help moms balance their identity and purpose because you are more than a mom. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new episode every week. Everyone needs some time to unwind and you are no exception. So I created a list of seven easy and fun hobbies for moms. My favorite hobby that I've been doing lately is reading. Before having kids, I loved reading and that shifted from reading books for myself to reading books for my kids. But recently, I started reading for myself again. Sometimes when I don't have time to actually read a book, I'll get an audiobook. My local library has an app that I can get audiobooks for free, so make sure to check with your local library. Audiobooks are a great way to read while cooking or cleaning, or sometimes I just sit and listen. And if you have time, there are book clubs you can join and meet new people at the same time. Like me, you may have had hobbies that you used to do before having kids. Take a look and see if this is something that you would still continue to do. That could be another great way to find a hobby. The next hobby I like to do is cooking and baking. This is great to get your kids involved in, especially if you have picky eaters. My son has tried things that he normally wouldn't eat just by getting involved. We love getting most of our recipes from the Food Network. They have some great recipes on their website. And this hobby checks off two boxes. The first being something fun to do if you like cooking and baking. And the second is answering the big question, what's for dinner? We've gotten creative and made chocolate souffles, crepes, lobster rolls, and so many other delicious things. I like the idea of this next hobby. It's a great way to be creative and productive, save money, and even make money, and that is designing custom cards. This can help you be creative and save money because cards can be anywhere from four to five dollars a card now, and you can make them for as little as a dollar or maybe even less. You also get the satisfaction of people's appreciation for your thought and creativity going into their card. It breaks picking a card off the shelf any day. And I love receiving homemade cards, especially from my kids. Another great hobby is puzzles. This could be a jigsaw puzzle, crossword puzzle, sudoku. There are so many different types of puzzles you can do. It's also proven that puzzles can actually help boost your brain power. Instead of being on autopilot, it helps to stimulate your mind while helping you relax and reduce stress. Plus you get a positive feeling of accomplishment when you solve the puzzle. The next hobby is gardening. My sister absolutely loves gardening and she turned her hobby into an income for herself, which by the way, you can do with just about all of these hobbies that I'm sharing with you. But gardening is also something fun to get your kids involved in as well. We grow a vegetable garden every year and our garden attracts butterflies. So my kids and I started taking care of the caterpillars and raising butterflies as well. It's one of the things that we look forward to each year. Depending on what the weather is, where you're living, you can do a small inside garden and plants as well. There are communities like Facebook groups that can help you get started. If you're into fitness or want to get into fitness, then working out can be your hobby. There's lots of different workouts like yoga, kickboxing, spinning, running, and so many more. You just have to find out what interests you most. This is something that you can do for free from home or outside. There's lots of free videos on YouTube, or you can join a gym or get a coach. So there's lots of flexibility. Another hobby could be making homemade products like soaps, bath bombs, lip balms, deodorant, the list goes on. But if you are health conscious and you want to save money, this is a great hobby for you. You can experiment with different products and different scents. I've made a few homemade products and it's pretty simple and I like that I know what's going into my products. If you have a cell phone, which I don't know anybody who doesn't, you can get into photography. Most cell phones today take better pictures than most cameras do. This is a fun, free hobby that will let you be creative and you can capture some amazing moments of your kids. There are many hobbies you can choose from and as a mom, it's super important to have at least one hobby for yourself to enjoy. 
Regardless of which hobby you choose, the benefits of engaging in that hobby will likely surprise you. I'd love to know what hobbies you love and how you make it work with your kids, so make sure to let me know in the comments below. For more balance in motherhood, make sure to grab a copy of my free guide at danasalvatore.com forward slash mom dash identity and I'll leave the link in the description below for you. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll like these two videos right here as well and make sure to share this video with your mom friends so you can invite them to be a part of this community that we're building here and I'll see you in the next video.